Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Anna, back for our autumn extension of Little Sprouts. So, I hope that you've all had a wonderful rest of your summer and start to your school year and are ready for some new, exciting virtual lessons. So, to kick off the autumn extension, um, our first lesson is going to be Powerful Plants, where we are going to learn about the different benefits that plants and a balanced diet can uh, give to us. And we're also going to make a delicious smoothie. So, um, first thing I wanted to talk about is what does it mean to have a balanced diet? So, um, maybe you've seen this before in your preschool or daycare or school. Um, this is called My Plate. So, what this is, is it kind of breaks down the different categories um, of what you are supposed to eat every day for a well-balanced diet. So, as you can see, we've got vegetables and grains, which are the two biggest categories. Um, and this is including mostly whole grains, not refined grains like white bread and cookies and things like that. Um, and then vegetables over here, so things like your squash and tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that are all in this category. So those are kind of the two biggest sections of a well-balanced diet. And then we've also got protein and fruit and dairy. So protein is things like meats and beans um, and other things that are really high in protein. And then we've got fruits, so things like apples and peaches and sweet, delicious, uh, things like that are fruits. And then we've got dairy, which is milk and yogurt and cheese and things like that. Um, all of these things are important for a well-balanced diet because they all bring different nutrients to your bodies and help you stay energized, so they give you energy, they make you happy. Um, so they help your mood, they help your muscles, they help your hair, your organs, your nails. They just help you to stay um, happy and healthy and uh, not getting sick and all sorts of really good things for your body. So um, every uh, different vegetable and fruit and grain have a little bit different health benefits. So instead of trying to tell you about every single health benefit in the whole world, um, I'm just going to talk about the ones that are going to be the ingredients for our smoothie today. Um, but before we make our smoothie, I did want to ask one more question. Does anybody know what an immune system is? You've probably heard this word before, but do you know what it means? And do you know how you can keep it healthy? Well. An immune system is all of the cells and tissues inside of your body that help keep you healthy. Um, and you can keep it healthy by eating healthy foods and vitamins that help to keep your immune system strong. Um, if you have a weak immune system, then that means that you get sick a lot easier. And nobody likes to be sick and have to take medicine. That's never very fun. So. What you can do to help prevent this is to eat a well-balanced diet like we talked about. So the smoothie that we are making today does not only include fruits, it also includes um, vegetables, it includes grains, and it includes dairy. So all of the things that you need to be a part of a well-balanced diet are going to be in this smoothie. And to top it off, it is delicious as well. So. Uh, let's get started. I'm just going to go through all the ingredients and tell you a little bit about the vitamins and um, other health benefits that are inside. So we've got our smoothie container and we're going to start with everybody's favorite part of a smoothie which is the fruits. So I am adding some cherries that I have frozen. Um, just a tip for anybody making a smoothie with me today. It's a lot easier if you use frozen fruit versus trying to use fresh fruit and ice um, because it makes your smoothie, first of all, taste a lot better if you use frozen fruit. Um, and so you're able to get more fruit and it also makes a nice consistency for your smoothie. So first ingredient is cherries. Cherries um, have 25 grams of carbs per cup as well as three grams of fiber 
18% of your daily vitamin C, and 10% of your daily potassium. So those are all fancy big words, but what do all those things do for your body? Well, we'll start with carbs. So 25 grams of carbs per cup. Carbs are what gives your body energy. They're what helps you to stay awake and doing stuff all day. Um, fiber helps your digestive system, so it helps keep your stomach happy and healthy. Um, vitamin C, like we talked about, is really good for your immune system. So it helps keep those cells and tissues strong to fight infections. And then potassium helps your nerves, muscles, and the fluids inside your body to be regular. So all of the things in cherries help keep your body healthy. So I think I'm gonna add about a half a cup. And also I should have said, just a side note, um, one of the fun things about smoothies is you can kind of add all sorts of different things that you might want. Smoothies, there's no one size fits all. You can be a little experimental with smoothies. So I like to add all sorts of different things to mine depending on how I'm feeling for the day. Today we got cherries and we are gonna add some peaches also. So what are peaches good for? Well, one peach has 14 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and 17% of your daily vitamin C, which we talked about. Um, it also has 10% of your daily vitamin A and 5% of your vitamin E. So what is vitamin A and vitamin E good for? Well, vitamin A is important for your organs to function and it's also important for your healthy eyes. So if you want to be able to see for a really long time, make sure you eat your vitamin A. Um, vitamin E, is really good for your immune system also because it's an antioxidant, which you've probably heard of before. Um, so that's a really scientific process that goes on inside your body. When your cells are converting your food into energy, they create something that's called a free radical and having too many of those inside your body is not good for your health either. So you need to eat foods that have antioxidant properties about them so that you don't build up too many of those free radicals inside yourself. So, peaches are one of those foods that contains vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, or it has antioxidant qualities. Hopefully this isn't too overly scientific, but I do think that it's really interesting and it's kind of good to know what exactly each vitamin and each fruit is good for. So we're gonna add our peaches. I'm gonna put five slices in there. Again, these are frozen because it's gonna make our smoothie a nice consistency. All right, next I'm going to add a banana, or a half of a banana, which I also have frozen in my little frozen banana container. <laughs> so bananas, one banana has 27 grams of carbs, that's for energy, three grams of fiber, that's for your digestive system or your stomach and your guts. Um, it's got seven, or no, it's got 10% uh, of your daily vitamin C, uh, and it's got 12% of your daily potassium and 5% of your vitamin E. So bananas have a lot of similar benefits as peaches do. By the way, I should also say this side note, I'm talking in percents. Um, this is based off of an adult's diet. So since a lot of the people watching this, I'm assuming are kids, who have smaller bodies and smaller um, food requirements, these are going to be an even higher percentage of your daily value of these nutrients. So win for you. Bananas are even better for you than for adults. Well, that's not necessarily true, but you do get more of your daily percentage of the vitamins than adults do, so lucky you. <laughs> okay, so those are the three fruits that I'm gonna add, and then I'm going to add some spinach and some carrots to my smoothie. So why do we think that I'm going to add vegetables to a smoothie? Do you think that that's gonna taste good? Well, even if you don't think it's gonna taste good, I promise you it does taste good. <laughs> and the reason that I picked these two specific vegetables is because carrots and spinach are a little bit on the sweeter side of vegetables. And so when you blend them into your smoothie, um, they actually taste pretty good. So. First, we're gonna put our spinach in there. 
And this is also frozen, so I'm just gonna put like a half cup-ish in there of spinach. And spinach um, has two grams of fiber in it, and it also has 8% of your daily calcium, which we have not talked about yet. So has anybody ever heard of why we need calcium in our bodies to be healthy? Well, you've probably heard that calcium is good for strong bones, which is true, um, but it's also good for your muscles and your heart. Calcium is very important also. Um, it also has 12% of your daily potassium, which like I said, might be higher since you have a smaller body. Um, and it also has 15% of your daily iron, which is good for energy, focus, and your immune system. So spinach, another really good thing. Then I'm gonna add some carrots, which have 146% of your daily vitamin A. And like we talked about, vitamin A is really good for your eyes. So carrots basically give you supervision. So you want some carrots in there. Make sure that you have an adult helping you cut up your carrots. So I'm just gonna cut them into little coins, just so that the blender doesn't have to work so hard. There we go. We've got our lovely carrot coins. I'm gonna put one carrot in there and then I think I'm actually gonna put two carrots in there. There we go. For even better vision. <laughs> there we go. So we've got our spinach, we've got our carrots in there. Um, besides vitamin A, carrots also have 16% of your daily potassium, and 10% of your daily vitamin C, and 18% of your daily vitamin K, which we also have not talked about yet. So vitamin K is good for your bones also, and it also helps you heal your wounds faster. So if you fall down and scrape your knee, eat some carrots and it'll help you heal faster. So carrots are great. Um, besides our fruits and vegetables, we are also going to add some Greek yogurt, some milk and some seeds, some flax, chia, and hemp seeds. So first of all, the reason that I am adding Greek yogurt instead of just regular yogurt is because Greek yogurt is super high in protein. And protein is good for healthy muscles, for healthy hair and healthy nails, and it also just helps your whole body function. Um, in, let's see, in three fourths cup of Greek yogurt, you get 16 grams of protein, which is 32% of your daily value um, for adults, which means for you, the kids, it's even higher for your percentage, for your daily value of protein. So Greek yogurt is super good for you. Um, I always like to get the whole milk unsweetened kind so that it's not super high in sugar because while sugar is good in small quantities for your body, you don't wanna to eat too much, and especially not refined sugar because that kind is not good for your body. You want natural sugars like the kind that are in fruits, which we already have in our smoothie. So, gonna add some Greek yogurt in there. I think I'm just gonna do a really big spoon, like about a fourth cup probably. Put that in there. Mmm, delicious. All right, and then I'm going to add some of these seeds. So in this mixture, we have flax seeds, chia seeds, and hemp seeds. Um, and all of those have a really good amount of your daily fiber, which again is good for your guts, for your digestion. And they also have a bit of your protein. And then chia seeds have 9% uh, of your daily calcium, which again is good for your bones and your muscles. So. I'm gonna add some of these. Just about a tablespoon or so. There we go. And then, just to make my, so here's what my smoothie looks like now. So it's got all my fruits and Greek yogurt and seeds and vegetables and all that stuff in there. Um, but it's looking pretty dry, so it's not gonna be able to blend very easily. So now what we need to add is some milk. So I have some almond milk over here. I'm just gonna add, let's see, I usually go to about, actually that looks perfect. So to about right there. So you can see in my 
blender. It's like halfway up the mixture with milk. And let's see, where's my little blender thing? So now it is time to make a smoothie. So I'm gonna put my blender part on, put it on my base, and blend it up. And it's done. So now it's time for the most exciting part of your smoothie, which is the tasting of it. So I'm gonna take this off. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, it tastes delicious too. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video and you go on to make your own well-balanced smoothie. Um, I'll see you next time.